Hello everybody, today is Thursday, November 10th. It's 1.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock here and the date. And I'm gonna bring over the time and sales. The E-mini S&P trading at 21.66. You can see in the trade manager here, the bid and the ask. Uh, videos are never a market replay. They're always recorded in real time. So at 1.08, 50 p.m. you can check the e-mini S&P and uh, see what the exact price was. If I scroll to the end of the chart, we can see the current prices. So this particular chart hit its goal and stopped trading, but this is the, the uh, real-time market action right here, uh, 2167 and a quarter. Before I begin, first the required disclaimer. Okay, it has been a fantastic day for the auto trader today, and it is only uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, 10 minutes after one. So this chart here is the E-mini S&P on the three range, and this has hit its goal quite a few times in the last couple of weeks that I've been showing this. Uh, even though I'm, I'm showing three contracts here, this could be traded with a single contract or two contracts. So this is actually pretty ideal for small accounts because the stop loss on this is only um, nine ticks, okay, three times the bar size. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, this hit its goal within an hour of trading. It starts trading in an hour after the open and so it had a few winners right off the bat and ran up to about half its profit goal and then kind of uh, went sideways a little bit but this all took place within about an hour of trading and then we had a couple of really nice trades here and uh, actually hit its goal with positive slippage of 62.50 on one contract, so the market must have really uh, dropped hard when it uh, exited <clears throat> as we had positive slippage. Okay, one of the most consistent performers has been this DAX on the Superenco 14 tick. This again hit its goal of 2000 with a tick of slippage, so netted 1975 on two contracts, and again, uh, trading was finished in 45 minutes. So what's really interesting is the number of winners we had today and it's only one o'clock. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the six range and quite a few trades here, but it ended up hitting its goal of $1,200 for the day on two contracts. Okay, next up is the gold contract on the Superenco six tick. Uh, gold has been volatile lately and if we look at the equity curve we had looks like a loser at the beginning so i tightened this up so we could see the equity curve we definitely took some heat uh, towards the open but came back uh, at 10 o'clock with a pretty solid winning streak and we can see where we finished on the upside so this actually hit its goal of 1500 you know you can never be perfect in the markets you you have to allow some room uh, for losers and even in spite of a drawdown like this uh, this the system came back and and hit its goal so it's it's all about discipline and having rules and setting goals and loss limits it's hard to do when you're manually trading Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a 2500 tick chart, and we had a stellar short trade off the open, followed by a loser, a winner, and currently long in this open position. So we have an, a closed P&L of 600 and an open P&L of about 500 at this time. This is a uh, live real-time simulated position here. And we're about three points off the equity high on two contracts. And given the chart pattern here, it looks 
bullish, we, we're making a series of higher lows and higher highs. So uh, we'll see if the market rallies up to the uh, morning highs, which was uh, 2178, 10 points from here, remains to be seen. Nevertheless, uh, pretty solid profits here. I could hit the close position and just call it a day, and, and we'd be closing out at 1,200 profit if I did it right now. But we'll let it go and see what happens. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 6 tick. We have a closed P&L of 650 and an open P&L of 400. As we are currently long two contracts, in live simulation. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the Precision Renko 5 tick, and this has been trading since the uh, middle of the night here, so had a really nice run up here and then gave some back, but still uh, a closed PL of 620. Okay, one final chart here is the crude oil on a 150 tick line break had a respectable gain of 540. And we can see the trades here. Okay, so back to our first chart, which is the E-mini S&P on the three range. Okay, back to our E-mini S&P on the three range chart. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website or feel free to contact us at systems at Blue Wave Trading. Thanks for watching today.